everyone. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Brandon. And, and we're, we're the, the Wagners. Wagners. We're a husband-wife duo who travel all around the country since 2021 for Brandon's travel nursing job. We love hiking, car camping, new cities, and of course, the best food and drink. Along with adventure, we always look for ways to keep our travel budget-friendly. So pack your bags and join us as we wander together. Hey, Wanderers. Hey. Welcome back to our page and welcome back to California. Um, you guys know that we recently moved to North California, so we spent six months in SoCal, and now we're here in North California, living in Santa Rosa. Um, which is great because on our way down when we were moving from Seattle to LA, we hit almost all of the national parks, but not all of them. So we're able to go back and kind of retrace our steps and get some of the ones we missed. So the, today we are at Lassen Volcanic National Park. I'm really excited for this one. I heard it's a kind of a, like an underrated park. It's, and just driving around, there's not that many people here. We're here in November. So um, it's, it's cold, but it's not frigid yet. So I, we don't even have our winter jackets, um, but I'm really excited to see some volcanoes. There's apparently four different types of volcanoes and they're all present here in the park. So let's get started. Let's go. If you've been following along with us, you know that we just got back from our 10 day Europe trip. So naturally, the best way to cool down from walking at least six miles a day all through Europe was to come back to the USA and hike some volcanoes. In our defense, we're headed into some higher elevation. And although Lassen doesn't close for the winter, the snowy season starts in November and then all the services and access points are pretty limited. So we're coming in early November and we wanted to get there before more things were shut down. So let's begin with some quick facts and a brief history. As you know, I have my handy dandy National Parks guidebook that I love getting all this information from. So first of all, visiting. This is of course free with your National Parks Pass. So if you didn't get it yet, as I will always recommend you get a National Parks Pass, I will link it in the comments for you. So Lassen is the 10th National Park and it was established as such in 1916. Before that, it was known as the National Monument. The event that changed its status was the eruption of 1915. Lassen and St. Helens are the only two volcanoes in the continental U.S. to erupt in the 20th century. Lassen is home to all four kinds of volcanoes found in the world, Heald, Composite, Cinder Cone, and Plug Dome. So I am obviously no geologist, so I will not be explaining the difference to you, but I do think it's pretty cool that all four types that are worldwide are represented in the park. So as I mentioned, this park is pretty snowy pretty early in the year, as early as October, and can last all the way into May, so the best time to visit is early summer, and that is also wildflower season. Okay, so let's explore. The first area we visited was Bumpus Hill, and honestly it was my favorite part of the park, and it's pretty accessible to all hikers. Bumpus Hill is one of the main spots here in Lassen, and there's even a little boardwalk so you can be right down in the thick of it. But be careful though, the boardwalk always needs to undergo updates and construction from the shifting topography in these active areas. Also, be prepared for the rotting egg smell of sulfur in the air. There is a trail to get to Bumpus Hill, and it's a 2.7 mile trail with a 433 foot elevation gain and is an out and back route. Also, just a reminder, since it's been a while since our last hiking video, you can always download the All Trails app and get more information on any hikes you're interested in, find more hikes, as well as a live map to keep you on the trail. I'm not at all paid or promoted by All Trails, it's just a site that we use that I personally find very helpful, and I think you will like it too on your adventures. So sadly, no dogs are allowed on any of the trails we took on our trip, so plan ahead for that. If you want a little bit of a longer hike to Bumpus Hill, Hell, you can always go to Cold Boiling Lake to Bumpus Hill, which is a five mile moderate out and back with a 980 foot elevation gain. And as stated, no doggies on this one either. Since we went in November, it starts to get dark early. So after our hike, we just decided to head back to our little campsite. At this time of the year, all the official campsites are closed, but you're still welcome to camp in the parking lot of the visitor center. And they keep the first doors unlocked. So you have access to the bathrooms and the water fountain in the front of the building. We were actually not the only hikers 
camping there that night and there was actually a decent amount of car campers as well so if you haven't been on the channel before we are car campers so we have a prius her name is shelly and we have a great system for camping in and then when we do our cross-country trips we drive both cars so we have an awesome setup that brandon did for us so we sleep in shelly and then we have easy access to all of our stuff in the highlander and her name is roxy so just shelly for this trip but if you'd like to learn more about our car campers we have some great videos for you to check out on our channel either in the car camping or the travel resources playlist so the next morning we were able to have our breakfast and fresh brewed aeropress coffee while the sun was still coming up that morning we decided to do lassen peak which is the tallest volcano here in lassen at 10,457 feet high which is just shy of two miles so in my research i also found that this is the largest dome volcano in the world and it is the volcano that erupted in 1915. So this trail is considered challenging because the first two and a half miles are all uphill, but the view from the top makes it all worth it at the end. And then the second half you get to come back down the hill. So this is an out and back trail that is 4.9 miles and 1,917 feet in, elev in elevation gain. So sadly, no puppies on this trail. It normally takes about three and a half hours, and I think we did it in about that, maybe just a little less. But again, the views from the top are truly awesome, and it was really nice to go early in the day and kind of in the off season because we saw maybe two other people on this entire trail. So definitely some cardiovascular strength is required, but definitely a great way to start out your morning. After that, we just had fun driving around the park and seeing more beautiful sights like the Emerald Lake and Juniper Lake. We had a little picnic by the car as well. And then the last hike we did was a much easier one to pull down from our big one called Kings Creek Falls Trail. This is only 2.8 miles with the 492 foot elevation gain and is an out and back. All Trail still calls this a moderate, though it's probably just because it's not very smooth terrain and the elevation gain is mainly due to some hills. So at the end there is, as you may imagine, a small waterfall, which is really fun to get pictures by, but it's kind of overlooking it. So even if it was nice weather, I don't think you could get in the water. But if you're not looking to do something as intense as Lassen Peak, this is a great option for you. And again, sadly, no pups. One thing that was really interesting to note on all of our trips was all the charred trees. Obviously this is California and there are lots of forest fires all the time, but it's actually crazy to see how much the forest fires actually keep the land beautiful. And they actually, even when we were leaving, they have controlled burns. So as we were leaving, there were signs that said, um, controlled fire, please do not report. So I just thought that was interesting how much the fire is actually important to the thriving ecosystem here. So that was pretty much it for our time here. I'm sure if you come in the summer, there's even more to explore, but honestly, even coming in November, there was still a lot to do. And honestly, the cooler weather was really nice for hiking. So this national park is such a cool way to see even more geology and topography that California has to offer. There's so many awesome things to do and see here in California, so we're super excited to be spending some more time here. With that, we will see you guys next week, still here in NorCal, where there is always something fun and new to discover. Thanks so much for watching. Leave us a comment below with any questions, or let us know your favorite hikes and parts of Lassen National Park. Please, please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys next week. Bye!